Engineer 775, the fan has turned brown. I mean, the pump has. Oh, well, whatever. I'm going to explain what I'm looking at here. It's not pretty. Um, this is a macerating pump system. A lot of people that are prepping, I find, want to add on to their homes, possibly add on a basement, and to store food. A lot of homes, um, unfortunately, are on crawl spaces or they're on a monolithic slab. And then we're always looking for places to store food and we want to store them in a cool dry place well he ended up putting and building a basement like this gentleman did it's a nice basement and he put a bathroom in it the problem is his original septic system is up the hill about eight feet so the problem is well what do I do because you know what runs downhill so you can spend a lot of money and put a separate septic system like I did on my house or you can put in one of these macerating pumps. A macerating pump just has a little tub in here where the when the, the stuff rises up. Oh, it's got a float switch. You see that little float popped up there? When that rises up to a certain level, it turns the pump on, and then it will uh, will actually uh, it'll actually pump. I was going to actually flush the toilet here and and show you, and that would be cool. So I'm going to keep talking while we keys. So the, um, the deal is here, there's a float switch and a pump and a simple 2 inch PVC line that's been trenched in and in this case it's been dropped into, tied into the existing plumbing line. So that pump pumps it up here and I'm just showing you a little, just revealed a little bit, it's going in the foundation and then it ties in with the existing plumbing. Um, that's probably the easiest way to do it, otherwise you'd have to drop it into, um, you have to drop it in the into the septic tank itself and that's a lot of digging so here we go so the toilet has just been flushed and it comes into the pumping station and then I really don't want to reach down there and get that pump to kick on there so maybe we can see this thing work maybe flush it one more time oh yeah Looks like the float's coming up here. Let's see if this baby will grind and this it's kind of stinky. Pick up some more water. The float switch should be kicking on there. There it goes. Do you hear it? Now it's gonna take what's ever in there. It's gonna take it down and it will grind and churn and get rid of all your problems. Uh, and then it starts filling up again. So that's pretty much it. And that's uh, when the pump turns brown. So this can save you a lot of money um, as opposed to putting a septic system just if you have a good working septic and you wanted to add a basement but you wanted to have a you know like a safe room or a, you know just a you know, there's a lot of ideas you can do but a lot of people are adding on basements, walkout basements or even full basements and if they wanted to put a bathroom in there then you, you can do something like this. So just wanted to show you an option. This one's by Flowtech. It's a Flowtech sewage pump system, model FP400C, if you want to look it up. And uh, it's real simple. So now you're saying, well, that's not sustainable because it needs power. And you're exactly right. That's why this, one of the critical circuits that we're putting on the solar system is this macerating pump. Um, it is a, a 110 pump, so it's not a big load, and you can see it doesn't run for long to take care of it, uh, take care of business. So, uh, all right, I think that's is that long enough video to talk about um, poop? Uh, I think it is. So, anyway, it hasn't hit the fan yet, but it has hit the pump. Engineer 775 signing off. Engineer 775, the crap has hit the fan. Actually, it's hit the pump. Sorry about that. False alarm. This is, 